and the stats site is yeah the amount of stuff she has on there it's insane like they don't yeah but like the amount of st okay her win rate is insane her kd is ridiculously high her cs she's in the top 20 percent in the world for cs she has 3.6 percent in the world for kill participation 0.5% for damage. Average is 5 kills at 10 minutes. Rome's split pushes as well. Like, this Aurelia is, is the most insane Aurelia I've seen, like, in over a year. In its imperfection, honest in its emotion, freed by Well, okay, I've seen Platinum Aurelias with worse stats than this one. In fact, I've seen Diamond Aurelias with more stats. Like, this is like Diamond level Aurelia right here. I had no idea because, uh. This one has a 71% win rate, so this one's the better. Than spawned. Spawned. I remember. I will not forsake the land that shaped me, nor the mistakes. There's no, there's no, no, it's five. Five, five is their average. They average 19 kills a game, which is actually kind of ludicrous. There's very few people I know who manage that, except for... Uh, there's a Fizz main I know who sometimes does it. I throw for noobs. Senna's are, um, very aggressive players. Okay. I did win a game on Senna. I went 12, 9, and 42. But lately, she's been the only champion I've really won on. Well, that and Lux. Lux is a champion I win on a fair amount. I just have to, like, farm and not die in lane. Yeah, you want to know, I, I do pick Misfortune into it, and it does work to some extent, but still, it's, it, it does because the, the double up deters him from, like, running in. Like, I don't know, like, Misfortune deters, like, almost everyone with, like, semi-long range, except for two champions. There's two champions, not even Tristana. The one that does the best against this fortune is Draven and Jin. Particular, well, no, well, Jin if the Jin's good. If the Jin is good, and then Draven. Draven's the one that's the most, the one I hate the most. In the because Draven outtrades misfortune really easily. I'm just telling you. I shall show them what it is to fall. Uh, okay, let me give you an idea how evil he is. 
he can out trade an Alawi in an all in if you don't play it perfectly. I'm not even joking. He can out trade an Alawi with like 3,000 damage. I don't know, but he's not really balanced. If you can, if you can duel an Alawi and not break a sweat, your champion isn't 100% balanced. Oh yeah, oh he can he can one v one a Trindamir and win. I'm not joking. I've seen him do. All right, can I, uh, I don't know, I want to go back to that thing, I want to die with that. I, I, I don't know, I, 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 even if I'm to try to solo carry on kills, I don't want this to accelerate too much quicker, I, or I won't be able to, like, grace. I, left. I, I won't be able to, like, trade with them. Oh, place that never leaves. Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. I, I needed to land that fine to make that a part of the Urgot is a weird champion. I, I used to play a lot of Urgot. You know, Urgot. I used to play a lot of him, but he's not great into uh, Tremonair normally. Most of the time. Only death can break my bonds. I, I, and I, I don't. Am immortal. Well, okay. That this is what playing versus these champions often and is like. Nice, Fall of Bear. Steam Fall of Bear things. He doesn't necessarily need a rework to be a nuisance. He's just a nuisance on his own. I'm just telling you that he is generally evil. Learned all the wrong okay, especially if he ever gets on top of you, you're basically screwed a lot of the time. And he'll like live on like no HP. No, I need it. I need to land that really proper mode. Uh, he, he says he'll throw, he can confuse. Get it. Damn it, I needed to land that thing. I got some gold off of it. I'm, I'm kind of rusty at Morgana. I, I mean, I mean other things. Get a root of one of these frickers. It's so hard to get this one root. I want a root. So I suppose if you show him, like, I don't know, dang Evelyn stuff, he'll leave us alone. <laughs> Kaisa, Kaisa would have some issues with the failures because he needs he needs something with long range. That's why they do it. If you need something that's a bully as fuck, like like this fortune is in for Dravis.
I don't know. Reminds me of Kane. Well, long range people are people with like abilities that bounce a really far distance. An enemy has been slain. To love is to be bound. Funny thing is, I really don't play much now. I do Tristana and Misfortune in this exclusively. I've been, I've been picking up some Caitlyn, um, but uh, I don't really do much ADC. Like, I try to do uh, Nig, Syndra, and uh, I do Syndra, I do Lux. I do Vigar. Vigar is my highest champ of all time. Justice is a lie of the powerful. I have tricks of my own. It'd be funny if, like, Syndra had an unleashed skin, where she, like, wears, like, even skimpier clothes than the one she has. That'd be funny as hell. Syndra Oh shit! You did the heated that for me. Can I? I'm gonna get a uh, stopwatch to do something. Yeah. Yeah. These mortal cycles begin anew. He can dodge almost anything. It's super annoying. Like that's one of the reasons why even playing Alawi, I had to like do something crazy to fight him. Righteousness, a splintered shield that I will shatter. Armor counters him if you get armor. But yeah, you need a lot of armor before you can it. And that doesn't allow me. I want to show you how Alawi versus Aphelios works. I want to show you. Shadow is not as dark as one might be. It's really annoying. One time I actually went one and made up Morgana. It involved a hacker named uh, Poopy something, Poopy Man or something. Poopy Man. No, you do not want to have to face Poopy Man. He's like the most sinister ass hacker you've ever seen. Basically, he would go for the, the one-shot build, and he would literally just run around the map constantly. And somehow he got away with it, despite having half the farm of our jungler. We had a Yi, but our Yi was useless.
I tried to snare him with the thing. I needed to land the root to make that play. Man, I've been playing some like, such shit. Back into the fray. Shall I prove them right? Not necessarily. I've done it. I've, 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 I have, I have learned how to play against them. Other, other methods. Well, we shall see through their lies. The main thing is you just have to you have to dodge and shoot with like long range shit constantly whittling him down until you can finish his ass off or you have to immobilize him somehow or you have to like rip out his soul like with a lowie you can rip his soul out and then like beat it up and then but you have to you have to you have to combo him quick or he will kill you as a lowie he will like he he can one v one in a lowie for free almost. Or a bruiser. A, bru a bruiser will work. A bruiser will work. Bring out so many a bruiser will work. Like, Aurelia can probably kill him, but AD carry, not really. Except for Misfortune and maybe Tristana. I don't see it happening. Clyde will work. Yeah. Well, maybe. You, you, either you have to burst him in one go, or you have to outrange his ass. Otherwise, he's pretty much a classic. An enemy has been slain. Onward through this unchanging land. I'm rusty at Morgana, so I'm not playing that hot. I mean, I still have 100% KP in my lane, but yeah. We are shaped by our foes. It's hard. It's hard to actually pick. Them. Well, I have. We have the Aurelia now. The Aurelia will guard us. Maybe he'll throw for new to Relia folks. No. Maybe, maybe seeing a Relia was too sexy. You cannot break a shattered soul. Ooh, I got a win! <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'll